I am going to start another series of lecture on hypothesis. In the hypothesis, I will address all aspects of hypothesis from basic to advanced, from simplex to complex. I will address all sort of issues in uh, relating to hypothesis. This video is in the uh, introductory in nature. And in the further videos, you may watch types of hypothesis, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, significance level, confidence interval, error, type 1 error, type 2 error, rejecting null hypothesis, accepting, uh, taking a decision relating to null hypothesis. And I will make a better attempt by these videos at the end of all the videos relating to hypothesis. You should be able to form a hypothesis for your research paper on any sort of issues that you are facing. So this video will address introductory in nature of hypothesis. Let us know what is hypothesis. Simply we can say hypothesis as assumption, purely based on assumption. I will go in detail later in the later slides. If you have only assumption, is it enough? No, it is not only enough. You have to claim those assumptions. You have to claim those assumptions. What if you only claim those assumptions? It must be validated validated your claims must be validated on which basis you will validate those assumption on the basis of evidences evidence simply anyone can have assumptions that particular person behave in such a manner particular company will earn profit to date stock market will definitely give a profit all those things are assumption it is in a common parlance but if you are a researcher, if you are a statistician, you have to prove those assumptions by claiming those assumptions and validating by giving the evidences. And in this video, it will, much, will be much more clear in the hypothesis. To be more clear regarding assumption, that hypothesis, let us have some of the common statements with our surroundings, the people generally use. It may be different commercial advertisements in television, newspaper, magazines, etc. What are those? The company, the particular company refrigerator of certain brand saves up to 20% electricity. Say brand A refrigerator is going to save up to 20% electricity bill. This is an advertisement given in some of the television. And going ahead, the motorcycle of certain brand gives 60 km per liter mileage. 60 km per mileage per liter of petrol or petrol. And a detergent of certain brand produces the cleanest wash. Cleanest wash. You will not see any dirtiness in the work clothes. And 99 out of 100 dentists recommend brand A toothpaste for their patients to save the teeth against cavity. You may see such a such common statement which are surrounded by you. Now the question may arise in our mind, can such types of claims be verified statistically? Can you verify these statements statistically? Fortunately, in many cases, the answer is yes. Then the technique of testing such types of uh, claims or statement or assumption is known as testing hypothesis. Hypothesis testing. First of all, you must be uh, you must have some assumption and that assumption must be tested by using some of the tools. That is a testing hypothesis testing where the truth or falsity of a claim or a statement is never known unless we examine the entire population. But practically it is not possible in mostly in mostly situation. So we take a random sample from the population under the study and use the information contained in this sample to take the decision whether a claim is true or false. Then to test these claims we will go for a sample from the population. Then one thing is clear. Hypothesis means assumption. Those assumptions in the research or statistics must be tested. When you test those assumptions, it is a testing of hypothesis using statistical tools. Moving further, let us figure out what exactly is hypothesis. Actually, uh, hypothesis, this is a, plural, a singular sense. ES is a plural sense. 
क्लाइम or an assumption about the value of a population parameter we will make assumption about the population parameter as i said you cannot do study of your whole population say for example if you take a population as your whole india you cannot study each and every population in the india for that you will take some sample out of india using the sampling methods which means in statistically hypothesis is a statement or a claim assumption about the value of population parameter and moving a step ahead uh, regarding hypothesis a hypothesis states what we are looking for and it is a proposition proposition for what which can be put to a test there is no use in putting a test why should we test to determine its validity and moving a one more step ahead a research hypothesis is a predictive statement using hypothesis we are going to predict let's i can say i will earn 20% of profit today in the stock market i am going to predict those prediction must be capable of being tested by scientific methods those are statistical tools and it may be relates to the independent variable or dependent variable whatever and to sum up what is hypothesis exactly i can say in a only one statement that hypothesis is an assumption made about population parameter very simple hypothesis first of all assumption claim preposition supposition whatsoever it is not real it is made to prove or disprove and we will make a assumption about population parameter we are not going to generalize to the whole population even though we generalize to the whole population our tested area is pop sample out of population so we use population parameter in the sense we have selected some of the part in the population by using random sampling non random sampling or method which are all available in the statistically so one thing is clear if you have a inquisitiveness mind in you, in you you will have so many doubts in a sense inquiry inquiry leads to doubts and doubts leads to invention if you test those doubts by giving sufficient evidence to those things simply if you say something will happen like this no one will believe you that is an assumption they can say he is simply assuming something like that but when you say when you report that assumption by testing that statistical tools available in statistic people obviously have to believe this so in the sense hypothesis is uh, some of we will make some of the assumption by regarding a person regarding a company regarding a company regarding a, a country weather or whatever the things we are having with our surrounding we will make assumption and that assumption must be tested whether this assumption is right or wrong to make a prove or disprove to test those assumption we will use some statistical tools since it is not possible to test each and every part of population we will get a sample from the population using the available methods that is about assumption and hypothesis as we have discussed previously yeah, that in our day to day life we see different commercial advertisements in television newspaper magazines etc and if someone may be interested to test such type of claims or statement then we come across the problem of testing hypothesis suppose i am interested to te test those assumption my hypothesis could be uh, any uh, like this a customer of motorcycle wants to test whether the climb of motorcycle uh, of certain brand gives a range mileage of 60 km per liter is true or false a motorcycle company is claiming that the particular uh, motorcycle is giving 60 kilometer of mileage as a customer i want to test whether it is a true or false and the businessman of banana wants to test the whether the average weight of banana of kerala is more than 20 g 
suppose a businessman uh, dealing with different state banana and he is interested to test whether kerala banana weight more than 200 grams he can go for testing a hypothesis and a doctor wants to test whether a new medicine is really more effective for controlling blood pressure than old medicine some new medicine came to the market and doctor is interested to test whether the new medicine is better than the old medicine in controlling blood pressure and an economist wants to test whether the variability in incomes differ in two population he is having a two state population and he the as an economist wants to test whether the variability that variance in the income differ in two population and one more example is a psychologist wants to test whether the proportion of literates between two groups of people is same psychologist will test the proportion of literates between two groups whether it is same but these are the statements not not in the form of claim if you want to claim these statements we want to convert these statements into symbolic form so how do we convert to into symbolic form in hypothesis testing problems first of all we should being identifying the claims or statements or assumption or hypothesis to be tested and write it in the words once the claim has been identified then we will write it in a symbolic form if it is possible so the statements i said you in the last slide i have given the symbolic form along with the statement here so as per our first statement a customer of motorcycle wants to test whether the climb of motorcycle of certain brand gives the same the average mileage of 60 kilometer is it true or false here we are concentrating the average mileage of motorcycle then let mu be the average mileage then our climb would be the motorcycle of certain brand gives a average mileage is 60 km per liter and it is symbolic form mu is equal to 60 km per liter. So this is the way how you will convert statement into symbolic form. Then you should concentrate on climb. Here we want to check the average mileage of motorcycle whether it is giving 60 km per liter. So firstly we will make it in a symbolic form mu is equal to 60 km per liter. Similarly, for the businessman of banana, may read the statement or postulate of uh, the hypothesis, the average weight of banana of Kerala is greater than 200 grams. Here our climb is more than, a businessman is thinking whether the banana of Kerala is, uh, weight of banana of Kerala is more than say, 200 gram. Let mu will be the average, then mu is greater than 200 gram which means Kerala banana is gray more than 200 gram. The weight of Kerala banana is more than 200 gram. In the third example, a doctor wants to test whether the new medicine, new medicine is really more effective for controlling blood pressure than old medicine. Here we need to compare between new medicine and old medicine. Since we are in the comparison of new medicine and old medicine, we have to take two sample of new medicine and old medicine also. Then we are dealing with two sample here. Here we are concentrating the average effect of medicine. So let mu1 and mu2 represent the average effect of new and old medicine respectively and controlling a blood pressure. Then our hypothesis becomes mu1 greater than mu2. Here mu1 is our new medicine, mu2 is old medicine. So this is how we will convert the statement into symbolical form. And moving further, so an economist may write the statement or postulate the hypothesis the variability in income differs in two population. Here we are concentrating the variability in income. So let variance for a first variance of two in incomes in the two population respectively, uh, respectively. Then our climb would be variance of climb is not equal to variance of second climb variance of first climb is not equal to variance of second climb since we are concentrating on the variability in the incomes coming to last statement that psychologists want to test the, whether uh, the proportion of literate between two group uh, of people is same here we are concentrating the problem of proportion of literates so let p1 and p2 represent the proportion of literates of two groups of people respectively. Then our climb would be P1 equal to P2 or P1 minus P2 is equal to 0. 
So this is the way how we will convert all the statements into symbolical form of hypothesis. Unless you come convert into symbolic form of hypothesis, you cannot apply any statistical tools in hypothesis testing. Here I am not only giving symbolic form of hypothesis, I am also trying to say what are the forms of hypothesis you can form. In the economics case, you can form on based on variability. In the psychologist case, you can form hypothesis based on proportion. And in the doctor case, you can concentrate, you can form a hypothesis based on two population that is new medicine and old medicine. And as a customer of motorcycle, you can concentrate a, a, a symbolic form of average. And in the businessman of banana, in this case, you can concentrate average in that to greater than or it would be lesser than. So these are the different forms of hypothesis you can form. So I hope you learned the difference between the actual statement and proposition and hypothesis and what is a hypothesis in statistical, what form of hypothesis you can apply to the statistical that is a symbolic form only you can apply in the hypothesis. Thank you so much for watching. Please do watch my all the videos coming forth which will help you to formulate hypothesis very very accurately thank you so much